do drugs. I don't, okay? I don't. I came on this show to prove my innocence, and that lie detector is a lie. Welcome to another edition of the Super Bad TV Show. I'm your host, Leo. Today we're going to be talking about lies, deception, and addiction. Let me bring out the first guest to the show because he has a lot of things he wants to talk about about his friend. Um, the first guest to the show is k Sign. I know k Sign. You can um, have a seat right here. Okay, so you came on the show to actually help your friend out. That has um, that li that constantly lies. Oh my God! And you're concerned about him? Yeah, definitely. Like, what's what's the what's some common things that he lie about? Like, he will lie about the simplest thing. Like, Dr. Leo, like you just don't know. Like, I was talking about sent him to the store to get a gallon of milk, and he brought back the milk, but it was like expired. So I'm like, what store did you go get this from? Because I sent it to one around the corner because you know I know the store across the street. They always do stuff like that. So he, they, said, he said I went around the corner, but he went across the street. Mm -hmm. Why would you tell a simple lie like that? Like, come on. Like, so wait, basically, you give him money, and he does other things with it, but he'll lie about it. Exactly. So, he, so if the sky is blue, then he's lying and saying it's dark outside. Exactly. He's, he's one of those liars. Exactly. Please help me. I, I can Please. help you today. I just need to get a few questions for you before I bring him out. Um, what is one of the biggest addiction that he has besides like I know it's lying but let's let's get a little more look into this whole lying thing. What is one of the biggest things that he lies about? Like the the biggest thing, like the most the thing the thing that a, a company call things. All lies. I'm not sure Dr. Neil, but I could have sworn one time I walked to the kitchen. I saw like it was like some white stuff I was yeah. So he so he's doing other things besides. So you think he's doing other things besides just lying? You I think really he, hope not. I asked him, but you know he's such a big liar. I would like for you to give him a lot of tape test Like see if he's sniffing that coke. Oh, we gave him a lot of tape test already. Right. We just need to know. You know, we just need to get a little bit from you before we bring him out. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm um, I'm gonna call you back out to the show. Okay. Okay. That was uh, a little scary. Hot white stuff on of those. You'll never know. Um. Our next guest we want to bring out is Chris. Chris is the person with the addiction. We're just going to try to see how deep this addiction goes. Welcome, Chris, to the show. Fuck y'all. Boo, yeah. Boo, y'all. Boo, y'all. Fuck y'all. Hey, Chris. Boo. Hey, fuck you, too. How you doing? Chris? Chris? Um, so your friend comes out, brought you here today, excuse me, <laughs> so just inform us that you have a problem with lying. It's getting addicted to you. A problem with what? Lying. I don't, I don't gotta lie. Like, what am I lying to him about? I don't have to lie about nothing. According to him, one day you went to the store, bought some milk, and came back with some expired, some expired milk. What is that about? Maybe the store had expired milk. I brought the milk. He gave me the money for the milk. You do know that we gave you a lot of tech to tech early before you came I know what y'all gave me, and I'm telling the whole truth. I know what y'all gave me. I'm telling the truth. I don't have nothing to lie about. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Um, what you got to ask? Why, why, do you, why does your friend, your close friend, is this one of your close friends? That's my, yeah, that's my best friend. That's your best friend. So why, why is he coming on the show trying to get you help if you don't need it? Help for what? Lying. I don't, I don't lie. I don't know. Maybe he's lying. See, y'all all coming down on me. Maybe he's the liar. You know, in that, in the lock tech test you gave you, of course you know, we gave you a part to ask you, what are you doing drugs? Now, wait, wait, what, drugs? Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, drugs? Yes, drugs. So, what's your take on that? Because, you know. How do you spell drugs? Like, I don't know what drugs <laughs> mean. Like, I, I know how to spell drugs. I'm just trying to get it out of you. Oh no! I mean, yeah. if you if, if it's the truth, we need to hear the truth from you. We don't need to hear any lies, any anything that's going on, because your friend wouldn't just make this up out the blue. And if he did, then he's the one that's going to be getting the, the he's the one that has the problems on this show. So you know, we're gonna bring your friend out, and we're gonna see what he has. Bring him out. That one's gonna bring your friend out. Um, I'm sorry, with the curse. Um. Can I have K-Sign back to the show, please? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't, how long have you knew each other? I'm going to start off with that. 19 years. 19 years? 10. Hey, 10. Oh, 10 years. So, he can accu- so you're accusing him of something, but he's sitting here saying that he's not doing it. Now, could you please explain to us the whole power on the little situation? I don't know. Why didn't you have to explain Because I didn't accuse someone of nothing. Like, so you're calling me a liar. I never said this man did nothing. I'm not calling you anything. I'm just trying to get the truth because both of y'all up here have two stories to tell. I just make no real like you didn't let me tell my story. You listen to him. So tell your story. What's your story? Alright, my story is this is my best friend. You feel me? Uh huh. So, like, we do everything together. Like, now I'm saying, like, when I first started walking, he was there. Like, my mother told me this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I knew this man since I was little. Like, my mother knew his mother. Like, I know him. Like, uh-huh. so. Okay, we grew up together, all that. We decided to move in together because we were his best friends. You feel me? So we went to college together, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he started being on some dumb shit. Like, I got money in the dress set, it's missing, all that. Then he tell me I'm doing drugs. Like, but he's stealing money. He's stealing some. I don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't put my business on front street. Like, I don't. I don't go on TV shows and do this. Like. He's stealing money from me. You know what I'm saying? Like, he would ask my mother to borrow some money one day. I ain't saying that. Wait, can I ask you? Can I, ask I don't know what he's doing. Excuse me. Can I ask you two guys a question? All this didn't start till I moved this together. Nah, I like it. And then, because like I said, this is my best friend, but I know, I never like, was like, we never, so this is your best friend. How well did you know your best friend before y'all moved the side? I know him real well. He never asked, he never asked real quick. Since I know, like I told you, like, me and him go back to the diapers, like, he never asked me for nothing. As soon as we moved in together, he started asking for money, borrowing money, stuff missing out the house. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm making a complaint to campus security. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my microwave is missing. He's telling me, when I asked my friend, my friend told me that Jamal said he was going to get the microwave back. The microwave is still in the bag. Can I put one thing up? Yes. Where's the microwave? Just wait. Let him talk for one second. He keeps saying move in together. I can have a place to sleep on my couch. I was just sitting there. He's supposed to be out by a certain time. Yeah. You're supposed to just be in like a butt. You, I did not you make it yourself comfortable, dog. Like, I want you to We both house. crashed in the couch. Like, we ain't nobody like crashing. You crashed in the couch. Listen, hold on just a second. We both crashed in the couch. We were both like, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is a big thing. This is a real big thing right now. And I need to get this out on my show. Okay? According to my producers, I can read one of the results of the logic text test. And from your lie detector test, that you said you didn't do drugs? Oh, Aco- yes. According to the lie detector test, you do drugs. So, <laughs> 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 that lie detector is a lie, nigga. That lie detector is a fucking lie. That lie detector is a fucking lie. I don't want to 